tell me, I'm, I'm interested because I, I did a, um, well, this is a dangerous thing to say because I don't know my taping air schedule, but as I sit here now, which of course is not real of time, uh, I had just taped a couple of shows on cocaine and Lady from California was talking about the scene out there. Is it true that Bruce Dern is probably the only clean actor in, uh, in Hollywood these days or one would get that impression at a party? He doesn't smell uh, that clean. <laughs> I don't go to a lot of Bruce's uh, cocaine parties. Uh, I understand he gives a lot of them, they run and then they do cocaine. Uh, I don't... Uh, I mean, he sat and lied I to don't me know why the... you would... Let me just get this. Um, <laughs> Ask me something like that. I don't go to many parties. I don't think that it's that prevalent uh, out there. Uh, it's darn hard to get it. <laughs> so, but it's an interesting question. Is it? It is, yes. I'm, I, I probably, I'm let's, a, let's talk uh, misdemeanor. I'll use it elsewhere sometime. Uh, there's no chance of getting you to talk. I don't think that is true, actually. No. no. Uh, I think Bruce takes a great deal of... Uh, <laughs> I really have no idea where that came from or, or why. He, he's, he sat here one time and swore that he was as clean as... Um, well, you know what gets me? First of all, he's our age. Right. And uh, he looks 50. Now, the man, uh, I, our... I like him very much. When I say our age, of course, I mean my age. You mean our combined age. <laughs> <laughs> no, but, um, what should we pick on? Here's you? a man who, you know, runs 15, 20 miles a day, does marathons, and of course, yeah. no one's ever heard of him as a runner. So it's equivalent, but people ask him advice on running. He must be a great runner. He runs 15 miles. And man, it's like a man playing eight hours of tennis every day, and he's still so bad <laughs> that you just don't hear about him. You never know who he is. He doesn't play in any tournaments, and, uh, or he plays in a lot and loses. And you ask him advice, like, what do you do with your serve? I don't know, 15 hours a day, and I'm still this bad. It sort of always uh, interested me. That's a side of you that I haven't seen. <laughs> I don't suppose any chance of getting you to talk seriously about the, the uh, what could I call it, the rumored animosity that your friends on Saturday Night Live were supposed to have felt when you uh, left and they thought maybe you endangered the, their careers and yours, perhaps. Well, I can talk about that, seriously. Okay. Yeah. 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 Here? Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> uh, well, I don't know what the rumors are. I haven't been in New York much. Uh, I get calls and they say, Chev, we heard this and that, and I must say that uh, they're, they're right. There was some animosity, but it was only Belushi. And uh, I believe if you ask him about it, uh, you'll hear... Uh, he's learning to eat with his mouth now, though. So. Um, there wasn't any. There was just a lot of, uh, I think, a, a little bit of elitism up there when I was last up there. Uh, the feeling was we're the only TV show in New York, and they're just about right. Of course, there's this one. Uh, <laughs> no, I guess they were the only. He's speaking statistically, of course. And, you know, <clears throat> but it wasn't nearly as what people had thought. It lasted for about a minute before the show yeah. and uh, ruined my performance, I guess, for a good half hour. And then it, it was over with. I wouldn't say who it was. It wasn't John or anybody else. It was just a general feeling that I wanted to kick the uh, living daylights out of a few of the people there. I see. Well, I, I, for a moment, I thought you wouldn't be serious about that, and you surprised me. Well, I didn't get detailed because uh, it's just not fair to Gilda. <laughs> Besides, you don't have the nerve. Who has a real foul name. mouth? 